we're back out again. Heading out on the bay up on Lake Ontario here. Just a little angry today though, we got some breeze out of the south, southwest. And uh, it's pretty cold right now, but it's supposed to warm up a little bit into the 30s, but that wind's supposed to pick up too, so. Gonna see if we can get a perch dinner today. I don't know. It'd be tough. But uh got the sled loaded up here. Loaded for bear. And uh probably definitely have the shanty up today. Let's see if we can do some damage. Bite's kinda slowed down. Obviously you can tell because there's only two people out here. Shanty set up. Pretty nice in here out of the wind. It's my second year with the uh, Eskimo Quick Fish 2. And, uh, oh, I okay, think I just got a perch. Let's go check it out here. But, uh, still love the shanty. One thing I noticed is uh, the hubs loosen up a lot. The more you use it, I've probably had it out 20 or 30 times now. So it sets up and takes down a lot easier. Got one? On the tip down? Yep. Man, I might have to bust mine out. How many minnows you got? A lot. Plenty? Oh yeah. That's a little fat girl. That is. I just got another one on tip down. Are you right on bottom? Yeah. Pretty much? Yeah. A little bit off? Probably six and a half feet or so. Man, that's another nice one. That's a nice fish. That looks like a male there, a big male. Sweet. So I got my two jigging rods set up in here. Just uh, dead stick in the one and jigging the other but Adam just got two nice perch on the minnows on the tip down so I'm probably gonna bust those out shortly and get those set up see my jig there it's about foot down so not bad clarity a little cloudy but not bad at all there you go got another nice one Don't pull it down right through the slush, huh? When they bite it, they're swallowing it. It's down there pretty good. Nice man. Shoo! She'll keep, huh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Man, you better uh <laughs> Those seagulls are gonna have those things, man. You want a grocery bag to put them in? You should put them in a grocery bag at least, you know? Can't grab them. Cause they'll, they'll have them choked down before you even reckon know what's going on. Was that on your contraption thinger? Yeah. What's that called? Finicky Fooler. Boy, that's a nice one, man. That's a 12 incher. Got a nice one on the minnow right here. I thought I hit the button. To show you guys me reeling them up, but uh, my fingers are so cold I think I missed the button. But anyway, it's got that guy on this rod right here. Uh, it's got a minnow uh, on a snelled hook, about a I'd say about 10 inches off the bottom of the bell sinker. Just watching the spring bobber real close there. Man, he bit it really light, but uh, I got him. So that's a nice one. And this rod here, I still got a jig on this one. I put a minnow head on it. All our bites have been on minnows. So I tried the waxworm for a while and wasn't getting anything. 
so I might try throwing a whole minnow on that too. Oh boy, that's a big girl, huh? Went down. I don't really even have to pull my sled, it's kind of pulling me. The wind's cranking. The towel went down hard. <laughs> you might, oh man, you might want to pair yak tracks now. <laughs> oh man. It's rough. It's rough walking. I went down once already. I put the yak tracks on. Even with the yak tracks, I've almost gone down a couple of times. There's the finisher. Endo wanted the finisher picture. How many's in there? Uh, twelve. Twelve. Nice. First dinner. <laughs> 